This is Transformers Reveal the Shield Perceptor. As you can see, I've got the instruction manual. What you want to do with this one? Just neatly put it there. Get one of these things. And just... God damn it, Hasbro. Can't you guys come up with some seriously... Seriously, I mean... Instruction manuals. These are not... It's not nuclear physics. You guys can... I'm sure all of you guys can come up with, with really informative ones. Anyway, sorry about that. If you slice your hands off a knife like this, is going to cost you at least a dollar. Would you say it's worth it? Huh. Has to be replaced. Come together up here. Yep. Yeah, these little ball joints do like to pop off a lot. But uh, that's, that, that's how he's designed. That's not improper transformation. Uh, that's how that joint works. You can, if you lift it up, it snaps off. Uh, that's that's solely there. That joint. Uh, oh come on, I'll snap. I can solely exist. Okay, okay, fine. Uh, to let this piece rotate up. And so uh, again, set of instructions. Uh, what you want to do with the instructions is. Maybe run it through a shredder, maybe just send it over to the trash, but you get the idea. Helps to kind of come at it from this side. Just pull it down. These doors do like to pop off. They're on ball joints, and um, probably the worst joint in the whole assembly is these ball jointed doors. But. Ugh, I can't believe this thing popped off. What the hell? Screw you, Hasbro. Anyway, any more joints that want to pop off? I'm going to do the same thing over here that I've already done due to the door popping off on the other side. And look at it off over there, too. I'm going to lift it up a little bit and get this flat against See, there, there you go. There's what I'm talking about with the, uh, with this. Flip it up like this. And attach. Go ahead and pull his tail back. And up. This does like to pop off there. That's just a little, uh, snap together joint in his tail. So it can rotate from side to side. And now you want to... I don't know why this piece is so hard to get loose. It wants to fight you every step of the way. Although there's nothing really... There's nothing here that should be blocking it. I mean, it doesn't look like there's any of the plastic stuck. Um, but you want to basically you want to get this backpack to come up. It really is hard to hard to do. I don't know why. There you go. You want to get that like that. And go ahead and fold that hood in. Okay, uh, let's transform him, shall we? Uh, but before we transform him... Just... F***ing ridiculous. I apologize. I didn't mean for any violence. Um, I know a lot of parents out there are concerned for their kids. I do apologize. Didn't mean to do that. I just couldn't help it. Uh, instructions were ridiculous. I mean, the other instructions for the other figures were great. This one just... I don't know what happened, but it was so difficult to follow. And I, there was a certain point, and I'll tell you later in the transformation, that I just got annoyed. Uh, we'll flip these back. These are his rear view mirrors that stick out of the doors in car mode. Leg out, extend the leg. Oh, slid it right off the joint there. That's a little swivel joint there on the knee. Those can pop off, but uh, slide that down. Goodbye. Okay. I don't want to come all the way out. That's weird. And again, no trouble with this until just now. 
So of course, take Prime, lock them in place like you normally would. Don't you start firing at me, young man. Uh, so, without further ado, he's a triple changer, as the box says. Uh, transforms into a weapon and to a race car, a uh, robot, and then a robot. So three modes. Uh, first thing you want to do. Next thing you want to do. Okay. Now that that's out of my system, I apologize. Inner peace. Relax. <sighs> and you've got this pretty neat little, uh, not even, actually not even little, it's, pr it's fairly huge, uh, dragon. And I mean, if I would take the whip. Yeah, I'm fine. Awesome. This stupid little tripod is not working out nearly as well as I'd hoped. But since I've already shot this, started shooting this review like four times, just laugh at the, everything falling over and we'll just continue on. Yeah, you need to have it... Come on. You need to have it facing down. Uh, whatever happens, just... God, oh, I hate this figure! I'm beginning to regret actually getting it. Leaves over half of that exposed, so it's only being held by the friction of this piece pushing outward. And this joint is stiff enough that, like, you're going to need more leverage to get this joint to move, way more leverage to get this joint to move than it takes to just pop this right off. This is good. this chest piece is going to pop off on a lot of you. Now, somebody is probably going to come along and do a video with, if you grab it here and just like this and pray to whatever God you believe in and fold it just right, it won't pop off. And, 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 and it may be possible to do that. Once you have rotated the biceps, we can take these window sections, fold these out on both sides, and then bring these sections to the back slightly in order to allow for some clearance so that this can now shoot and you can see unfortunately i do actually have a crack on that piece which sucks goodbye and it's just snapped clean off fantastic just snap that in there and that is just such a shame for a nearly 200 dollars figure oh, i like to flip this panel make sure that's all snapped in he doesn't snap or peg together quite as well as solidly as skids does as you can see which is a shame it's because the engineering is neat the figure itself is pretty cool but the uh but yeah, that, that damn door and uh, everything, and it's just the way he pegs together leaves a lot to be desired. Anyway, there, there's mud flap. I say just keep this guy in one mode. Like, either keep it in robot mode or just keep it in, in car mode, obviously. But don't keep transforming him because he's just a pain in the ass. Anyway. Then up here, you want to fold these head cage pieces back. They do like to pop off. Um, I've been called King Pop Off by a friend, but... You know, that's just sometimes things pop off. It happens. Uh, that's not just a rushing to get something transformed for a video popping off. Uh, these pieces do like to pop off. Come on, there we go. Get that out of there. You can see there is a handle in there because he can hold it as a shield. And I'm not even. He can hold it as a shield. Just trust me on that. When he's in robot mode, here. You know what? Here's the busted one that's not in. You can put this in his hand and he can hold it as a shield. Let's just pretend I did it. Do it. I'm gonna do it because I've already started. Have it in. I'm gonna half ass it. There we go. So yeah, you can you can have this as a shield if you want. Whatever. Anyway, that's gonna go off to the side. He's busted, don't worry. You're broken. Anyway. And spin this whole thing apart right here. Onto the Whoa! 
All right, tripod. Way to fail me. Yet, you failed me for the last time, tripod. I can't believe it's not butter. Anyway, um, I can't believe how many crumbs are in the butter. Anyway, that in there as well. And lift that up, being very delicate whilst doing so, as of course you don't want to pop anything else out. And you just saw there, one of these pins just come clean off, which too is just absolute crap. And then now, the arms, there's a little panel under here. You want to... Again, these are in there pretty good. If you don't have fingernails, like me, you can use a little screwdriver. Or... Actually, that's not going to work either. Huh. That's a shame. Okay, I'm going to get a screwdriver. Alrighty, my apologies for the delay. <laughs> this usually doesn't happen. Usually I've got long enough fingernails, but I just cut them. Let's unbox Soundwave and see what's what's inside. Okay. Be careful you don't break it. Okay. Cool. French minty fresh smell of new toys. And wait a Really? Are you has Hasbro? Are you kidding me right now? What is wrong with this picture oh my goodness are you serious right now what the there has to be something there right if i'm not mistaken it should be the well this one's that one that one is this one and this one this particular gun should have been here it's a mint in box, mint in sealed box toy. Unbelievable. Just my dumb luck with Hasbro yet again. I don't believe this. General Grievous, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Masterpiece Ultra Magnet. I mean, you name it. I, I have the best luck with Hasbro toys. Can you believe it? I, I can't review it. I, I'm sorry. I... I don't think I can review an incomplete toy for you guys. So, um, maybe I can go back to the store and buy another one or, or something or, or have it replaced or, because I purchased this like weeks ago, like two, three weeks ago. And I don't know if they'll still return replace it, but, um, man, this sucks. Uh, so um, I'm, I'm gonna try and go back to the store and, and see if if the, the, we check the, the box. It doesn't have anything. Nothing fell out. So um, I'm gonna try and replace it. So I'll, I'll see you guys later. And repeat the same process, and then try your best to just conceal the two halves. But oh, God, this transformation is absolute rubbish. Bring. Why is this stuff? And it really, it really shows. Like I said, that's one of my, uh, oh, you silly thing. Um, one of my pet peeves about this is that, uh, hello, 4chan. Welcome to yet another thing you're going to bring up anytime somebody bitches about me. Oh, did you see Sideswipe? You popped the hood right off. Couldn't get it back on for like eight minutes. Boo-hoo. This is why the whole world should, like, just blow him up, because he can't keep things together. Oh well. Boy, you just do not want to go back together, do you? 
There we go. That is the drawback of just using friction hinges and really weak friction hinges instead of pins. I don't have the instructions. Well, I had the instructions a while ago, but we, we trashed it. And the feet were like in this position. Huh? And the instructions, all the instructions say is to join them together. I mean, can you believe it? How, how does that happen? What they failed to mention is you're supposed to, which I've had to figure out after several minutes, was you're supposed to flick one ankle up and the an one ankle down, like that. Or vice versa, it doesn't really matter which one, but you just flick the ankles diagonally like that so that they, they don't hit each other. And once you do that, then, then, only then, will you be able to join these uh, panels together which I'm having difficulty doing so. And yeah, you, you know, the instructions are not clear on what to do with that. And if you're a five-year-old kid, because it says five and up, toys for five and up, you're not going to figure out figure it out that easily. And I'm sure a lot of parents will be frustrated as well. Either that or I'm just really too dumb to figure this one out. But it took me a while to figure it out. Um, because it just says join the two together. And like the toes, where do they go, right? They, they were supposed to be arrows to tell you to rotate. And anyway. Lock those right into place right there. Oh, look at that. Yeah, the ball joint's on his forearms also. Good popping times. And I know everybody likes to call me King Pop-Off, but I think anybody who even has this mold knows full well that that's not just me being a dunce. That's, that's just how the figure, figure likes to do it. Um, there is one more step that, to me, has no purpose. Um, if I can get his feet where he can actually stand. I know, I know, there's a certain pose he's supposed to be in to make him show accurate and help him stand. And JT Mitchell, you're not doing it. You are a horrible Transformer person. I, I hate you. And Oh, great. It's my first time with the legs coming off. Apparently, this happens quite a bit. Um... So I'm glad it happened for the first time on camera. I'm I'm overjoyed and all that fun hoobity doo boobity. I feel like the guy who designed this like left his CAD program open, and then like his his mentally retarded cat got on the keyboard and did a little dance for him to get him his attention. And while he was out of the room, hit send uh, to the whatever the manufacturing company was and this is this is how it ended up with this um mech tech port in the same uh side as it is so oh hasbro <sighs> anyway and then there's a really cool i guess uh automorph gimmick uh it's not too spectacular but it you push this down goodbye and, whoa um it's not supposed to pop off like that. <laughs> um, okay, so put that in there uh, just to show you that again. You had it up like this. Is that going to... Goodbye. Jesus. Okay. Um, I have no idea why it does that. Uh, there, so... <laughs> there's special head launching action or something. Just like we did before. And then this little square tab can go on either arm. We're going to put it on this one. We can tab that onto his forearm. I don't know if it stays on. Come on, you weren't giving me this much trouble earlier. Huh. You should just tab right on there and stay on. And it stayed on just fine earlier. I don't know why it's being a butt now. But it's supposed to just tab right on there. Let me stay on this side. Oh, there we go. It's staying on that side. I don't know why it popped off of... I want it to be on this side, but whatever. We'll figure that out later. You want to bend that so it... I think the spring might... Yeah, see the springs are starting to mess up on this foot. But you want to get that foot up in there. Come on, spring. Don't do this to me now. So he's gotten these. We're on this. Um, okay, we'll do that again. Uh, you want to... It's whenever this is lifts up, but you want to go ahead and move this red piece up and put that into place. These will come off. 
they don't usually come off that often. It seems to me that oh, every time I go to do a video review, everything that can go wrong will. Um, I've transformed him seven or eight times now without any problems with these things. And of course now they want to uh, come out. So you want to pull the... As this is a Toy World figure, it just amplifies things to an extent where it is pretty much an impossible task. Take the smokestack, which is just completely crumbled to bits, and set that there off to the side. And we'll worry about that later on. She's great if you want... Um... Like, if you've got RC, who you know is her rival, and you just want to, like, give RC a reason to just go medieval on somebody, uh, she's great to have. Um, and, and like I said, they, they make them sturdy these days. Kids play with these things, so you can do that over and over and over again. At which point, you can bend his legs up. He is top heavy. Um, and it's not so bad, really, the top heaviness, unless you're holding him by the legs like I was just doing, and with his arms still not in the proper position, so. Goodbye. He's doing so well. Okay, there we go. It just snaps right back on. Uh, so it's very cool, very nice, very easy to follow. Uh, a couple of uh, complaints about the, the uh, instruction. I'm not going to kill it, don't worry. To the top here. Dun, dun, dun. Lift this up, and you want to pull... These, this. Okay, sorry about that. You go up here, you want to pull this whole section out and uh, flip this piece down. Just let you pull the arms out. There's a whole bunch of. Man, I cannot win this today. Son of a bitch. You can flip this piece down and. Goodbye. Open. Dropped it there and opened it. I am Optimus Prime. Yes, you are. I am Optimus Prime. I am Optimus Prime. Yes, yes, we did this last time, remember? There we go. Um, unput, untap the arms, and sometimes these will pop off. They like to do that. Um, I can fix it, but, but bend the arms all around like that. Again, get her into a sitting position if she won't this Hey, all right. Cooperative. Uh right here uh, kind of I'm gonna break the sword trying to clip it into its spot hey you, to, you definitely have to make that forward there we go. I guess you just have to bring it closer there. So step 13, or 14, tab the sword underneath. And then step 15, as you may have guessed, is plug the shield onto the butt of the vehicle. Without popping the sword off. And it pegs into the trailer hitch. There we go, kind of. Now let's snap this back in. Step 16, fix everything you screwed up <laughs> during that process. And step 17 is depression. Okay, buyer's remorse actually is step 17. Securely, we can then bring Goodbye. this piece in so it tucks all the way in. And then bring this forward. And snap it into place. Man, this is not my day for him. All just joints designed to pop off. Just, I'm pushing too hard on one of them. You flip these, uh, flip these pieces Goodbye. out. Goodbye. Shoot the missile. Oh, behind the cabinet. Anyway. There you go. You flip flat and then rat trap. No! Uh, and the doors actually are on hinges that can pop up. The vehicle commode itself, uh, you know, it's, it's a, um, it's not a legend. Goodbye. Oh. Ow! His head just shot off and poked me in the eye. Curse you, tiny head! Got a little owl face. He can, he can, his neck can move side to side, and then his face itself can rotate. He can go, hmm? Like my, my dog when I say, you want peanut butter? Mm hmm? But, um... Heck, no, I don't have any. Ah, he really does not want to cooperate right now, and I apologize for that. Normally he's... 
I've had some trouble with them. I've not had this much trouble with them in a while, so I don't know. It's just because I'm doing the review now. And then now she, there she is. She's a helicopter with shrimp claws, and um, and you can spin this and uh, and while it's spinning, you can pretend that you're Clarence Boddicker and be all, "Can you fly, Bobby?" I guess not, you giant pe. You ever go to a party or a banquet? They have a um, a carving station, and there's a guy with a knife that cost a dollar that he does nothing. 